Hello everybody, my name is uh, Eric Mora. Today I will explain to you how to update uh, the firmware on a Yaskawa smart panel. So first step, we have to get the firmware on Yaskawa website. So you go on yaskawa.com and you click motion, HMI. So there are several steps to go to that uh, firmware. So you go on HMI, smart panel, and overview latest HMI firmware so just follow those steps HMI go down you switch to DP and you click on, on smart panel and you will see there's four dimension in my case I have a 10 inches HMI but we do have four and seven also and I would choose the latest firmware so after you click on this you download that on your computer on my site it's already done so close this so this is my zip file so I have to unzip this file and just extract it it will create a folder called MOVC so don't change that name it needs to be kept like this and copy this on the USB key and connect the USB key on your HMI after it's done in my case I would use a VNC viewer uh, it can be you can use a VNC viewer or you can just use the, the, the keyboard on the HMI it's easier with the VNC viewer because I'm using a, my computer keyboard so the password is VIPA TP. There's another um, uh, video explaining how to use uh, VNC viewer if you have problem with that. So this is my main screen. So you see my firmware right now is 11.5. So I would like to update it to 11.6. So I will just click on main air to go, to go out and I will exit. And I will click on my device. And in my device, you see there there's a flash disk and there's a USB hard drive, hard disk. So I want to take the USB hard disk file so I can copy this file. And I want to copy it in the, the folder flash disk. So if I go in flash disk, you see there's MOVC there. So I want to replace this file. And I have another file here because I already copied it to save some time because it takes time to copy from one to each other. So I will just rename this one to, back, to have a backup. I would say underscore backup. And now I can copy the file. So I would just paste the file. So after it's done, I would just re replace the name of this one. So it it will copy this file here. So now my, my update is done. So if I cycle power, it will use this file instead of the backup one, I, the one I changed the name. So let's cycle the power on the HMI. And when I will reconnect with my VNC viewer, we should see the firmware number should that change. So I'm just waiting to, to reconnect. It's coming in. So you see now the firmware is 11.6. So if I go in the main also, I can probably uh, just exit to have some time here and just restart the startup like this. So it won't boot it up again. So we can see my, my firmware now is 11.6. So that would be the process to use a USB key. And like I said, using VNC Viewer, for sure it's quicker because I can type directly on my computer keyboard. So have a nice day. Thank you.